All right, welcome to the channel. I am Intuitive Empress. Welcome to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served up for you on today. This is a general, what did I say? General message for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting, on this message that God has for you on today, take what resonates and eat the meat and don't choke on the bone. So if it's not for you, then don't take it. All right. This is a general message. So what that means is that it's impossible for this entire message to resonate with you. In order for that to happen, you would need a personal read, which you can get in the description. Donations are by following the instructions in the description, donations are appreciated, accepted, and welcome on this channel. So make sure that you do follow the instructions in the description. If you would like to not go through the subscription, the description, you can hit that thank you button. All right, which is right below this video. I do have some, uh, Swag, like some um, coffee mugs, some insulated mugs, some water bottles, um, those still water bottles that help you with your New Year's resolution if one of them is to be more active um, and everything like that. So check that out. All right. If this video is extended, the extension will be available in my Patreon. That information is in the description. Also, if you are a reader or you would like to do your own messages, I do have Oracle cards that was created with my own little two hands. All right. Which I will be using primarily in my readings. All right. They are messages that we're giving and inspired by the most high. Um, it is something that intuitive empress did not think that she would be doing, but I never thought that I would be on here as well. So, you know, I'm growing and let's grow together. So if you are not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Thank you so much to my subscribers for every like, every comment, every subscribe, every share for my returning visitors. Thank you for every like, every comment, every, every share. And please do subscribe. All right. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, hopefully you do like my vibe and you will decide to come back and hopefully subscribe to the channel. We are so very close to the 5,000 mark that I can literally taste it. All right. So please help get to that level. If you are not a subscriber, I do have some wonderful things I have planned once we hit the 5,000 mark, including some lives. All right that will be coming because then I'll know that people will show up for the lives. Okay. And you will have the app option to ask a question during the lives. All right. So once we get to that point and we go through the lives, I will let you know how to have your questions answered. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who has donated to the channel because it does go into feed the channel. Help me do some of the things that has, um, been laid on my heart to do for this channel to provide you with content. All right. Just to let you know, I am not a tarot reader. I am a prophetic intuitive empath. All right. The cards are just a tool. I could actually come and give messages without the cards um, and everything like that. But this is just the way that the Holy Spirit is having me come at this time. Okay. So, um, as we go into this, um, do, 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 I'm just trying to make sure I said everything that I was supposed to say. Yes, I did. Okay. So we're cleansing the energy. We are praying Holy Spirit, heavenly angels of the most high God, Father God, we call on you right now. We, um, thank you. And we are so grateful to you for all the things that you have done, all the many blessings that you have given us for life, health, strength, and all of that stuff. All right. We do ask that you will come and give us messages, um, for the intuitive community. All right. And that, um, you know, you give clarity. All right. You will put, 
warn us properly. All right, let us know what is going on with us. What's going on? All right, and we do ask for your heavenly angels and we welcome them into this space and into our lives in the name of Jesus that we would be protected. All right, as we go on this journey that they will war on our behalf against every demonic force that will try to come to kill, steal, and destroy Wow, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> that will try to come to still kill and destroy. All right. In the name of Jesus. All right. And we do send back, nullify every curse, hex, vex, witchcraft, black magic, hoodoo, voodoo, whatever. In the name of Jesus. Um, to the sender and we ask that our angels will be able to get to us without delay. All right. With our blessings in the name of Jesus, we do ask that you would keep us during this time where a lot of things are happening in this world from human beings to natural disasters. We just ask that you would guide us. All right. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 So I am using the intuitive empath deck here, which is available on my Etsy shop. All right. Holy Spirit, heavenly angels of the most high God and father God, what messages do you have for the intuitive community? All right. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So we have the first card out was intervention. All right. So someone is going to be a mediator in a situation for you, or you could be a, an intermediary in a situation. This central uh, situation regard is regarding a thief. Someone who is, has cheated, someone who has robbed, someone who has scammed, someone, someone who is a finesser and a liar. All right. Someone who um, is either going through mental anguish or taking someone through mental anguish. All right. This is because of a snake spirit okay spiritual warfare and there is a such thing as a snake spirit i have seen it happen where people would be acting like i guess their normal self at one moment and then will be slithering across the floor like a snake that is a demonic spirit all right and so there are some people who have snake spirits they might not actually slither on the floor with you but i'm just saying that on you, but I'm just saying this is someone with negative energies. This person with negative energies is going to be someone in which you may have to have someone intervene, okay, to resolve a dispute, a problem, or a conflict with this person. This person is going to be popping up. This person who has stole from you from the past and stealing may not be money. It could have been, you could have felt like this person stole your time. Um, stole your peace, stole um, your love, all right, um, your goodwill, all right, this is someone who um, has gossiped about you, all right, having the streets talk, airing your dirty laundry out, so to speak, to defame you, someone who was being petty, talking trash because of their jealousy of you. All right. And what you had. So this person could have stolen your reputation. I'm hearing for some of you. All right. This is someone who is will be in denial if you confront them with something here. No evil. See no evil. Like, oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, I didn't see that kind of person. All right. Whereas you can catch them doing something and they'll turn around being on camera or you just just seeing it, seeing them and they saw you see them and they'll say it wasn't me. Nah, you know, nah, that wasn't me. We'll actually paint that picture and almost have you doubting whether you saw them or not. Wow. So the thing about it is their time is running out. Okay. 
Um, this person could be popping up or things could be happening with this person in the next few days, weeks or months. Uh, we do have a breakthrough that is going to be happening for someone. All right. The, your blessings are about to materialize. All right. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? For some of you, I'm getting that this person really thought that they took you down, um, especially if you have been quiet um, over the last few weeks, days or months. Um, this person really thought that they could that they had done you in the snake spirit. That's what that snake spirit does. A snake um, has venom. Um, it bites you and it could possibly be toxic depending on the type of venom. Um, but this person, it reminds me of the story. Um, it was a snake and a turtle and, or a frog and a turtle. It was a frog, a frog and a turtle. And they had to get across the river and the snake was like, Oh, can you help me across? Can you help me across? Let me, uh, come across on your back. And the frog was like, no, if I take you over there, you're going to bite me and, and, and I'm going to drown. And the snake promised, I promise, I promise, I just want to get to the other side of the, the, the river. And so the snake convinced the frog to, to take them, take them across. And as they're going across, they get to the deepest part of the water. The snake bites them and says, why would you do that? Now we're both going to drown. And they both drown. They, they both do drown. But before they drown, the snake says, well, you knew I was a snake when I got on your back. Hmm. So some of you knew this person was a snake. You saw how they dealt with other people. You saw that they still stole from other people. You saw how they dealt with other people, how they gossiped about other people. But you didn't think that this snake was going to bite you. But this snake bit you. That's not for everybody, but it is for someone. All right. But for for many of you, this person thought that, that you had drowned or they had taken you down, but you are about to rise up from the ashes like a phoenix. All right. There is elevation coming for you. All right. And this person um, who was a karmic feminine energy, a karmika. All right. Um, thought that they had drained all of your energy. They thought that their controlling ways um, was going to have this impact with you. This is someone who was friends with, you were friends with benefits um, with someone who was non-committal, no strings attached. This might have been somebody that you wanted to have a relationship with, all right, that ghosted you all of a sudden, all right? Um, all right. They ignored you. No communication. They were they completely vanished. They were gone in thin air. All right. This person who had this demon. OK. All right. And this is the same person who gossiped about you, who messed up your reputation. They did not think that you would be able to reach this level of ascension. All right. So many of you are spiritually growing. This triggered your spiritual growth. All right. This um triggered you to get a higher level of consciousness and to become aligned with the Holy Spirit and the divine. Wow. Ooh, interesting. All right. So I felt to go to this deck here. This is the intuitive guidance deck. That is also available on my Etsy shop. All right, what messages do we have? Ooh, out of this deck, Holy Spirit. Messages for all signs. All right. <sighs> so... Wow, 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 wow. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, so pretty much we got another confirmation where we had the karmic feminine, the karmika. It's this toxic, manipulative, snow, soul snatcher who is very materialistic. Who took you through spiritual warfare. All right? This person who wanted to have you in bondage. And there was a war in the heavenlies regarding you. All right? This was due to this person's jealousy. All right? This person put you through some spiritual attacks. All right? This person was a hidden enemy. This person was a phony. All right? This person was not keeping it 100. This person really did not like you this was someone that was uh, flexing living beyond their means gossiping about you had the streets talking and buzzing about you just all kinds of petty stuff and what i heard wow what i heard is that people were waiting to get some dirt on you so they can talk about it so they can be busybody so they can feel better about themselves all right because you were already somebody of high character you know, someone who was already favored of God. You were someone who, you know, people didn't really see your faults. Not that you hid them. You were just living your life. All right. And because everyone's struggle is not the same. Some people's struggle is behind closed doors um, and everything and not readily available. But then you have those people who do have faults and they talk to God about it to get themselves together. Whereas you have people who do not want to get better or whatever, um, you know, you're not the type of person to share your business out. And so that caused some turmoil where people were just looking for your faults. I'm, I'm hearing. All right. But um, the problem is and the bad part about it is that for many of you, this person was supposed to be the person that was your twin flame. That had that spiritual contract. They had that five dimensional con uh, connection with you. Your mirrored soul. And people could say, oh, if it didn't work out, it wasn't your twin flame. I beg to differ. Simply because we have a choice. Okay. And so this could have been your twin flame, but they did not cho choose the righteous path. Now, when they came across you, it was so they could be triggered into their spiritual path but they still chose not to do it okay and i know this as a fact because again had an experience knew that this was the person you know prayed about it fasted about it da, 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 da. god dealt with me the way he did me being prophetic i have dreams i have visions and all of that stuff all this stuff was happening da, 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 da. i had other prophets come to me um, who had not even met this individual that described this person to the T. All right. And was like, this is the one. Da, 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 da. All right. Still me being the person that I am like, you know, you got a choice. I'm not trying to force nobody to be with me. That's not supposed to be with me. But I had this person very, very angry, very, very hotly say, I am not going to change. And I didn't even say anything to this person. This person was fighting what God has it was like, I just, I'm not going to change. I just don't want to change. We all have a choice. And I feel like this person had a choice. And one of the reasons why they did that smear campaign against you collective is because of the fact that they did not want to change. They did not want this. Okay. And the fact that they were jealous because it seemed like it was so easy for you to walk this path. It seemed like it was so easy for you to be you. Okay. And so they wanted to smear your reputation. While they were on their way out. Wow. But in divine timing, in the next few days, weeks, or months, some of you may already be experiencing your spiritual awakening uh, walking your spiritual path and walking in your life purpose for others of you um in spite of all of this the spiritual warfare you do have your twin flame actually coming in in divine timing because they did experience a spiritual awakening this could be somebody who was already in your life or it could be someone that you have not met yet okay in the 3d you would need to use your discernment to find out which one it is
So that's why we went to this deck because this other deck had something else for somebody. This one had something for others. All right, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have a divine feminine. So for some of you, this karmic feminine, this person in this low vibrational energy may actually turn into a divine feminine energy because they got their spiritual awakening. OK, for others of you, this could be another person. Now, you only get one to um, twin flame. True. But someone can be replaced in your life that make you just as happy, that'll help you walk in your life purpose and all of that. Because God don't make mistakes. Again, God knew that this person wasn't going to change. OK, so he can replace someone in your life. I've seen it happen. I don't care what nobody else say. I've seen and I've experienced certain things in this life and in this spiritual realm. I've been in this for a long time. I have not been on this channel doing this for a long time, but I know that people can be replaced. Now, it may not be the person that was originally supposed to be in your life, may not actually be your twin soul, your twin flame, but God can replace someone and you could be just as happy, if not happier, and still get done the stuff you were supposed to do in your life. This could be a cancer, all right? male or female, and I'll say male or female. This could have been a karmic Chris versus a karmika. This could be a divine masculine instead of a divine feminine. All right. That cancer could have been the one who was running. Why? Because this person was a hustler, a street cat, um, you know, and everything like that. So, you know, somebody who was running fast to nowhere, someone who uh, was, um, you know, dealing someone who was um you know um out there um doing what they can for for the cash never having enough resources all right this person is now obsessed with you because you have gl gl uh, glowed up all right but you have divine protection all right this person has had a revelation of who you were i feel like this person knew who you were the whole time okay and now they're coming to the realization that they missed out on what they were supposed to get. Wow. All right. If you like this so far, let me know by liking this video. Wow. Hmm. All right. So we're going to get to the messages that God wants you to have. So these are final messages. Final messages. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, Father God, what messages, final messages do we have for the collective? Wow. Stop casting your pearls before swine. Wow. So we have someone that you were with or maybe even someone you were trying to help. Because this person doesn't want to change, God is saying, stop casting your pearls before it's mine. This person is not going to accept it. This, meanwhile, this person is um, planning your downfall or wishing your downfall. Okay, because it's a thing I, I heard. You're not better than me. Nobody ever said that. This was all in this person's mind. This was all the, the, the devil talking to this person's mind. All right. You have apologies coming from this person and other people. For I'm hearing for some of you, this is not just a lover. This is friends. It could be family that you have been ministering to and they just don't want to receive. And God says, stop casting your pearls before swan. They know better um, and everything like that. Um, he has been dealing with them. All right. So it's like it's time to move on. All right. This, these people want to continue doing what they're doing. All right. Because it says, can a person take fire into their chest and not get burned? Proverbs 6 and 27. All right. So 
Like these, these people know what they're doing and they keep getting burned. For some of you, it could be a friend that keep getting the same type of women and men, but then they wonder why they keep getting burned. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, so we have, um, have faith, faith, faith is the assurance of what's hoped for perceiving as fact, what is not revealed in the 3d. This is Hebrews 11 and one. This is actually, um, a different interpretation. So it's like, uh, revealed in a 3d, which not have been re revealed in the natural. Okay. But the 3d realm is the natural realm. What you and I see the physical realm. All right. You could be a Libra or you could have been dealing with a Libra. This is also the card of balance. So somebody could be in need of having balance in their life. The most high says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. This is second Kings. 20 and five. So for some of you, God is saying, um, you have been crying out to him and he's heard you. All right. This may be the reason why apologies are coming. And there it is that something came and then it got snatched out while I was giving another part of the message. You have someone who is coming to apologize, but God is saying, um, don't stop casting your, uh, pearls before swine because you know, this person is going to be so convincing. All right, that you may let them back in your life or in the space that they were, be a friend, be a lover, whatever. God is saying this person has not changed. This person still has a snake spirit. It has come out in two different decks. Okay. And so um, just know that a snake is a snake is a snake. No matter how much they charm you, no matter how much they convince you that they have changed, they will turn around and bite you again. Wow. That's not for everybody. That's for somebody, though. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have a Scorpio here. Could be your sign. Could be... Um, this person's whoever this person is. All right. We have enlightenment. The most high gives insight to those who are blind. He lifts up those who are heavily burdened. He loves those that are his Psalm 146 and eight. All right. So This lets me know that your person knew exactly what they were doing. Insight was given to them, just like insight was given to you. He's lifting your burden because you actually took heed to what he said. And he loves you because you are his. My thing is you're either his or you're the devils or you're of the evil ones. All right. So. Um, there is no in between there's light and dark, there's hot and cold. All right. And the Bible says that he, whether you be hot or cold, then lukewarm. Cause you do have some people who try to be lukewarm that skate defense. But he was like, those people make me sick to my stomach and I will spew them out, basically throw up, you know, and everything like that. So, um, um, yeah, it's it's just that. Like there there is no in between. And for a long time people, oh, it's it's not just black and white. There's some gray in between. Yeah, but is that gray in between supposed to be there? And what does that gray in between do? Does it sully the 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 white? If it surely doesn't clean up the black. So it's just like you got to you just got to know the wise will hear and will increase learning 
and a man of understanding shall attain counsel. Proverbs 1 and 5. Don't you ever let go because your season of more is here. For some of you, you may have been ready to give up. You may have been ready to be like, you know what? I've done this. I've taken the righteous way um, for years. For some of you, it has been decades. All right. And you were like, look, I'm ready to just let this go. And God is saying, don't let go because your season of more is here. Your blessing is here. Your breakthrough is here. All right. And because you didn't let go and your blessing is about to happen, all right, you have someone who is in their feelings, all right? Someone is feeling some type of way, all right? Because it's like, how dare you um, be able to, to get this stuff after all that I've done for to you? Like, they did this to stop you from getting what God had for you. It's just that simple. Wow. Spirit is saying, allow happiness into your life. All right. All is not lost. Again, things can be replaced. You are never too old to achieve what God has promised you. All right. For many of you, you have freed yourself from toxic situations, stressful situations from this person that has temper tantrums. All right. This person gets violent, have violent outbursts when they don't get their way. Um, somebody could have um, had a situation in October. Somebody could have been born in October. So you could be a Scorpio. All right. Or a Libra. All right. Many of you have been building up positive karma. All right. A lot of things have been a long time coming for you. You could be a natural leader, someone who is just a leader. You're not even trying to be, but you are. And or you could be an entrepreneur. All right. Justice is coming in for you. All right. You're gaining victory from the wrongs that were done to you. All right. That's what spirit wants you to know. All right. So we have um, an Aquarius, all right? Um, you could be an Aquarius. This person could be Aquarius. We did have Libra and Aquarius come up in this reading that did come up in the other two readings. So you might get some more clarity in those readings, all right? The thief is... The thief, once he is found, shall restore what he has stolen sevenfold. He will give the substance of his house. Proverbs 6 and 31. All right. And we did have the reading start out with the thief. Okay. This thief was identified by God. For some of you, even in the natural, and they're going to have to repay what they stole. All right. That's Proverbs 6 and 31. All right. But for others of you, for those of you where it is not um, that cut and dry, trust me, let God be your avenger. OK. And um, he's going to work everything out for you. He is going to work everything out for you. So we have um, the pride demon. This person is possessed by chasing and receiving clout. Anything for praise. All right. So this is one of the reasons why this person was tearing you down. For some of you, this person tore you down for people to um, build them up, to praise them. Oh, you did everything you could. And you're a good man. You're a good woman. Da, 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 da. All right. For some of you, um, it says the law of manifestation is working in your life. So consciously create your reality with the uh, right thoughts. Okay. Actively bring about what you want in life. Faith 
is needed at this time for you to do that for many of you. Because again, for many of you, you've been waiting a long time for this. But success comes from the lessons learned from your failures or perceived failures. All right. Because for some, some, some things were failures. Some things were, um, other people not doing what they were supposed to do. That's as I want to make sure the wording is right. All right. Because there were people who had a responsibility to do certain things, um, in their lives. All right. But they did not. And in those cases, that is not your failure. Okay. All right. So if you like this message, let me know by liking this video, subscribe to the intuitive community, and I will see you next time.